Hello friends. Welcome to online Selenium training videos. In this training we are going to learn JavaScript basic. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is the world's most popular programming language. It is the language for HTML and the web, for servers, PCs, laptops, tablets, smartphones, and more. JavaScript is a scripting language. A scripting language is a lightweight programming language. JavaScript is programming code that can be inserted into HTML pages. JavaScript inserted into HTML pages can be executed by all modern web browsers. JavaScript is easy to learn. To learn JavaScript we use W3School. We are going to learn how to writing into HTML output using document.write. The script tag. JavaScript. Variables. JavaScript functions. So let's go to W3School. So this is the command document.write. Write anything you want to print on the HTML page. Let's see the demo. Click on try it yourself. Let's change the default values in document.write. Now click on submit code. You can see the effect on the result window. Here one thing we can see is script tag. To insert a JavaScript into an HTML page, we have to use the script tag. So now let's have a look at script tag. Go to this page of W3School. The start script tag and end script tag tells where the JavaScript starts and ends. The lines between the start script tag and end script tag contain the JavaScript. You can place an unlimited number of scripts in an HTML document. Scripts can be in the body or in the head section of HTML and or in both. It is a common practice to put functions in the head section, or at the bottom of the page. This way they are all in one place and do not interfere with page content. Now let's see JavaScript variables. JavaScript variables are containers for storing information. As with algebra, JavaScript variables can be used to hold values or expressions. Variable can have short names, like X and Y, or more descriptive names, age, sum, total volume. Variable names must begin with a letter. Variable names can also begin with dollar and underscore. Variable names are case sensitive. Both JavaScript statements and JavaScript variables are case-sensitive. JavaScript variables can also hold other types of data, like text values. In JavaScript a text like Selenium training is called a string. There are many types of JavaScript variables, but for now, just think of numbers and strings. When you assign a text value to a variable, put double or single quotes around the value. When you assign a numeric value to a variable, do not put quotes around the value. If you put quotes around a numeric value, it will be treated as text. Let's see example. Creating a variable in JavaScript is most often referred to as declaring a variable. You declare JavaScript variables with a var keyword. After the declaration, the variable is empty. It has no value. To assign a value to the variable, use the equal sign. However, you can also assign a value to the variable when you declare it. Let's see the example. In the example, we create a variable called carName, assigns the value Volvo to it, and put the value inside the HTML paragraph. 
with ID equals demo. Now let's see JavaScript functions. A function is a block of code that will be executed when someone calls it. This is the sample of JavaScript function. When my function is called, hello world is printed on the HTML page. You can call this function any number of time. JavaScript function syntax. A function is written as a code block inside curly braces, preceded by the function keyword. Now let's see calling a function with arguments. When you call a function, you can pass along some values to it. These values are called arguments or parameters. These arguments can be used inside the function. You can send as many arguments as you like, separated by commas. This is the syntax. Let's try this example. This is the function. This is the code block. When we click on this button this function is called. And code inside this block is going to run. We can use this function as many time we want to use. Let's try this. So we had learned so many things about JavaScript. Learn more from W3 School. At the end, I am going to see very interesting JavaScript code of Selenium API. Let's go to this website. Search for seleniumapi.js. This JavaScript file contains all codes for the command we use from Selenium IDE. Let's verify. Open Selenium IDE. Type command. Mouse move it. In command field. Now search same command in Selenium API. Wow! We get the code of the command. Mouse move it. In this way you can find more command details. In next videos we use this file to add user defined command in Selenium IDE. So, what have we learned in this video? We learned JavaScript. How create variable in JavaScript. How to make function, and what is Selenium API. You can get all links used in this video from video description. Keep watching. Keep learning. Please don't forget to give us a up thumb to like this video.